What up, Hunter? That was quick. Discord. Wait, where's my nightbot at? You. Hold on. Nightbit. Fuck nightbit. Nightbit. I don't know where is it. What the heck? Okay, maybe I need to fix my nightbot. Welcome back to Heavy Rain. This is part three. Hopefully, I don't have to age restrict this like I did the last couple times, but uh. Uh, yeah. Apparently, my top chatter was small. In the last episode, we beat the crap out of two guys, gave one of the girls in the game a shower, and turned into... I will talk to you later. And discovered some Matrix glasses. Give me a second, Hunter. T-B-L-T question mark Did you ban Nightbot Nightbot. small? I was the only one there What the heck? No. In here I sit let nine nine. Oh, there it is. It finally joined. Chat, Hunter Johnson. Make sure to hit that like button like it owes you money. The Armada app URL. Alright, we can finally get this going. Nightbot works now. I don't know why it was down at all. Just so you, you guys know if any of you... I literally have it for Discord links and that's about it. And to keep me entertained if people stop chatting. wonder if I'm gonna have to freaking censor this one too. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again.
I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. So just in case you guys didn't know by chance, this guy's son, his he has two sons. His first one died in a car accident because he was a dumbass. Um, and this one is currently taken by the origami killer. Gamier is here. What's up, gaming nerd? Welcome to the stream. Make it through the crowd. I can't can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. He has PTSD of crowds ever since he had to go through his. You know what? I just suggest watching the other ones if you haven't watched these before. I I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. What the f uh, somebody loved the warp tool. Uh, what the heck? Jason? Dad. Wait, it looks like there's two of the same people standing next to each other. God dang it, if you're gonna use clones, at least spread them out.
line 18, box number 3. Line 18, box number 3. Dude, seriously? Got it. The number, the code was on the back. So that wasn't broken. It's an origami thing like what the store clerk got. Or maybe it is that origami. It's not a whole lot to talk about. VIP. How'd I get a VIP thing? Lucky Locker. Are you prepared to show courage to save your son? Joe's garage and parking lot. 4988 Roosevelt Avenue, Lexington. Oh, sweet. So now we got to do trials to try to get our son back. And we're back to Matrix guy. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. 
He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more the confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was yeah, able to isolate kind of a zone off. where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square miles. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm not all kinda. ears. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time it's when a victim off. disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is all. The time when a victim off. disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is all. The audio is synced. That's just a really bad animation, that's all. Why be aggressive, idiot? I clicked the wrong button. That's just a really bad animation. Yeah, there. it's like, uh, desynced lips in a dubbed anime. Except in this case, it was just poor... PS3 animations. Always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, we gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your... Fast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? I came here to find a killer, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do, with or without your fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's enough! You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? The weather forecasts are right. Less than 72 hours. Three days. Sir, we waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. And you don't have a warrant. There is dirty no. cop. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Especially without a freaking call the cops. Thing.
Well, uh... Okay. Looks like Nathaniel hey everyone, Nike but here, guy. just letting you know I am in ICE's live chat if you wanna idiot. play with my Wait commands type. The world. Command list. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Real twist. You might want to restart your or reset your page or you're watching the walls it on. Are covered with writing. Quotations from the Bible. Small um if you're watching this on a computer or anything, just refresh the stream because it's coming through fine for me. Like what you see? Good. Hit that like button ever so softly to show Ice just how much you love him. It seems okay for me. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Nam and Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying Still to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Mm. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. You were arrested in a case where a child disappeared from a park. What exactly happened? I'm innocent. I have nothing to do with those murders. I was in the park because God spoke to me. I was arrested because I am the chosen one. That's all. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both Religion was a mistake. Mm -hmm. Speak that name. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? Blake, what are you I doing? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He orders you That's to go enough. and find new prey, doesn't he? Leave him alone. He? he needs more and more. No. No. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. He told you to go and find that kid in the park. Carter, the shit! Are you out of your mind? Long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop! Stop! That's enough! So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? Ugh. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I shall you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! 
You're not gonna kill the Antichrist with a revolver, Nathaniel. He's much too powerful for the that. Antichrist, my ass! Get that gun out of my face! Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Demon. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Now gently put the gun down on the floor. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast. I honestly don't even care if he shoots him. This is a douche. The world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. I'm here to help you, Nathaniel. To give rid of the voices in your head, but you have to trust me. Back away, slowly. Drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Put your hands on your head. Turn around. I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. It was only a crucifix. <laughs> ah, I knew you didn't have another Can't gun on miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. WTF. <laughs> Whoops. I reacted quicker than I thought I would. Whoops. Are you fucking serious, Dominic? <laughs> Whoops. Blunder. I got a trophy called Blunder. Whoops, my ass, you fucking dickwad. <laughs> what? That's not who I meant I said when I don't, like... I tried to save him, he didn't have to pull something out of nowhere. Sir, baby screaming inside. Not a promising start. Stop laughing, you're a fucking idiot. I know. <laughs> I don't know why I thought he had another gun. Why on earth would he have a second one? I hate you. Anybody home? Mrs. Bowles. Miss Bowles. Oh, Jesus. Hello, little cutie. Oh, you looking for your mama?
save the kid. I will. I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to be doing exactly right now. Mrs. Bowles! Mrs. Bowles, are you there? And make sure you get it before oh, I you leave. Shit. Mrs. Bowles! Mrs. Bowles, can you hear me? Wake up! Wrists. Wake up! This is just wherever he goes, he finds some fucked up shit. I don't want to go to the hospital, please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this one with? Yeah, I think so. Okay, don't move. I'll be right back. Can I take those scissors out of that cup? Assorted cookies. Let's see. I need this, and this, and this. Hmm. I'm here for you, Susan. You'll be all right. I'll take care of you. Ah, oh, I need more. I'm still bleeding. Stay with me, Susan. Susan, do you hear me? Susan, stay with me. Can you hear me? Stay with me. Not perfect, but it'll do. I've done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily the wounds aren't too deep. Hey, how are you feeling? You okay? My baby. My baby needs me. Right. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> Her name is Emily. Gotcha. <laughs> ah, I gotta wash my hands again. Forget about that. Hi there, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh, going by the smell, I got a pretty good idea.
Okay. How do you do this again? God dang it. Do they have to have a butt in every episode? There you go, fresh new baby. That should feel better. Right, Emily? Hmm? Hey, what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. They're hungry now. I guess I better warm this thing up. Straight out of the womb. Go check on the mom for a second. Of course. Now I know why you're crying, my little peachy poo. Mother Shelby to the rescue. Mother Shelby. Was a test of water. Oh, Emily, are you hungry? Huh? You hold on. I'll just tilt this bottle a little bit so you don't jump. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. What I'm am I doing sorry. wrong? That was quick. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm gonna rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Right, that's about the limit of my maternal powers. Poor kid. Thanks for looking after my baby. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. 
maybe maybe he couldn't take it ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and I couldn't do it anymore I understand did your husband say anything before he disappeared did he leave a note or something no he left the house without a word and there was just a cell phone a cell phone yeah I, I found a cell phone in his dresser I'm sure it wasn't his I'd never seen it before I tried to turn it on but it didn't work do you still have it? Yeah, it's uh, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah, my mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along but I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself and Emma. I will, I promise. That promise might be broken. Mm -hmm. Good luck, Emily. You take care of your mom. Wait a second. Did they seriously bolt two beds together? It looks really jank. I guess they don't want me to look at the tub. Have we already been streaming for about an hour? 46 minutes. Holy crap. Time flew. The parking lot ticket in the origami figure leads to this garage. What am I going to find here? Excuse me? Hey! Oh! 
Huh. Sorry. Didn't see you. Uh, what can I do you for? I'd like to get my car. Hey, you're a pretty patient guy, you are. That car's been there for two years. We took it out for a drive every month and checked the tires and batteries, just like you said. Here. It's the third floor down. The service elevator is at the far end of the garage. Thanks. Ah, you have yourself a good one, Chief. See ya. Crap, it just started a downpour outside. It's kind of ironic given the game we got going on called Heavy Rain. Your destination is four miles from here. Leave the parking lot and take the first right. That's kind of creepy, actually. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. You might be able to if I open the window here. You guys hear it? drive and simulator sure ah son of a my chair just broke again ah uh, I need to get some bolts Too fat for this, apparently. I just got my bug beanbags here. That's what I have to do for now. Uh, 
ugly looking stuff. What is that sound? That big clack bang? That was my, uh, that was my chair breaking under me. You have reached your destination. Are you ready to show your courage in order to save your son? Listen carefully. Take the highway and no, drive against like the traffic for five miles. What? WTF. If I succeed, I'll get more letters for the hangar. It's my only need. No turning back now. I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. I've got to do it. For Sean's sake, I have no choice. I'm streaming. What the heck? That is 
that's right. Ah, back to the eye candy. Change the difficulty. I got a trophy called Good Driver, alright? I did good. And it has to do with reaction times, and sometimes it doesn't actually read what you click. It's kind of iffy. Decent bike. I'm not quite sure why she's riding it in the rain. Chinese girl on a her Chinese dude on a little bit. Change the fucking difficulty. Why? Because if you kill someone, I will do nothing but bitch at you. Got it. Don't kill anybody. Madison Page 27. Single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, get in the courtyard. Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. That's for sure. WTF is the sound. It's raining.
That doesn't sound like rain. Does it sound like little tits and tats? Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. Like sand being poured into a pail. Yeah, that's rain. Larry is finally back. Sir? What's up, Larry? Right? I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just... Help me to my room. It's number 207. the key You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. I must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. <laughs> but it's sore as hell. Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. I should disinfect his cuts. Am I gonna be medic twice in this game? I'm gonna disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. At least it won't get infected. Thanks. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. Here. Take this. It should do you what some good. It? It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. I can't afford to wait. OD. I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. All right. I'm gonna take a shower. All right, let me help you. I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything.
Talk to me. That way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name? Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? Don't. No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I, uh, I come and spend a night here. I'm... I'm just passing through. Fucking don't look in. And what else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. <laughs> I'm a photographer. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. And you? I... I'm an architect. Architect, huh? I said don't. <laughs> Just like you, I don't want to get age restricted again. Thanks for staying. I feel a lot better now. Okay. You're not okay, funny. Better get going then. <laughs> I find myself hilarious. By the way, you never told me your name. Ethan. Be careful, Ethan. You're not. That's our first run in. the second trial in the next video or now hmm ah, screw it I'll do a second one now Time for Mr. Matrix again. Calling him baby set face from now on. Was that the first time? Sorry? First time you killed somebody. It always does something to you the first time. Then you get used to it. I'm not sure I want to get used to it. That's him. Miroslav Korda? 
Yeah? Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Shit, don't just stand there, he's gonna get away! Ah! Hey man, watch it, dude! Ah! Expecting three buttons. Hey, man, watch it. I still got him. Hey, man, what's your problem? This time it looks like we got our origami killer. You're too quick to assume. No bell OL. Well, we left off last time with somebody's head down on a table. How about we end here with our head on our table? But he looks like he did something. Well, they're looking for people with past crimes. Considering the fact he has uh, suitable knowledge. Whatever. Alright. Well, I'm going to end it here. Thank you all for watching. If you did like this, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Remember, stay frosty. Peace.